It's Santiago Say So, and I'm rocking with Hustle Hearted. You already know what it is. Today we're here with uh, Santiago Say So. Yes, sir. I want to start by asking you, um, where are you from? Atlanta, man. Atlanta, the west side to be exact. So uh, how was it growing up in, in Atlanta? I mean, it was, it was rough. You know what I'm saying? I had it. I had it like both ways. I was, you know, middle class and then rough. Stayed with my mom for a little bit. She stayed in the hood, stayed with my aunt. She stayed in a little nice area. So I got to experience both sides. So you said um, you grew up in Atlanta. How, how did that, how did growing up in Atlanta uh, affect you uh, as a person growing up? Just, you know what I mean? You got, you just realize like it's a lot of hustles and shit. Like you see everybody like getting money and you know, it's always been like that to me since I've been there. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, that, that right there, you see people like, even back then, like 90s, you know what I'm saying? People still, they still got their hustle on. When you see that today, it's the same movement. Let's go into some of your music. Uh, your first single, Speechless. Uh, yes, sir. It did over 500,000 streams. Yes, sir. Uh, how did it feel to get that type of reception? It was good. As an indie artist, that shit is great. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't expect that. You don't know what to expect going in. Indie, no label backing you. You know what I'm saying? My whole team putting money up. And we just trying to get it. So to see them numbers, it was like, shit, damn. You know what I mean? That's a blessing for real. How have you approached the industry as a, a, a indie artist? I just stayed me. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, trying to be major and all that other stuff, I mean, we just indie. Like, out of pocket, you know, no handouts, no nothing. We just, you know, whole team doing it. Okay, so what would it take for a label? to get your attention. <laughs> it's some, we talking about some money because I'm already doing, you know what I'm saying, that the shit yeah, they'll be looking so. for, really. You feel me? Like, we got merch coming out, you know what I mean? I done did radio, I done did all that, so what can y'all offer me? Okay. So, what would you say defines your style as an artist? Man, it's, I'm versatile. I can do a lot, you know what I mean? Um, definitely a, a down south artist, I would say. But I got bars, I got, you know, I can really switch it up. What's the main thing you notice culturally uh, with Atlanta versus, you know, other cities when you travel? Everybody want to be in Atlanta. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, that's just the honest, you know what I mean? And then, like, the sound, like, you start to hear it everywhere, you know? It'll be this artist you never thought would uh, make a song that sound like some shit from Atlanta, but they did anyway, you know what I mean? Take us into your EP, uh, Atlanta Nights. Yeah. It's a vibe. Yeah. You know I mean, Atlanta Nights is just, it's just me giving you my perspective of Atlanta. Our people around me. And um, a couple of the songs, you know, you can get that. You know, you got the club, you got the scammers, you got all it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so it's in there. <laughs> uh, what, helps you, what helps you stay consistent as an artist? Man, I just started thinking about what I want as an artist. Like, when I say what I want, I mean, like, you know, I'll be able to take care of my kids. For my kids to be able to take care of their kids. All the other shit, it don't matter. You know what I mean? You see everybody like, yeah, I want the Bentleys and all that. That shit cool. But that money got to keep flowing. You know what I'm saying? So, Man, I was listening to your tape earlier. And I couldn't not ask you. Uh, there's a line in your song, Tote, on Atlanta Nights, where you say, uh, the pussy tastes like chicken Creole. Oh, no, nah, that's my partner <laughs> saying that shit. <laughs> My partner said that. Shout out to, <laughs> shout out to, <laughs> shout out to my homie, man. He uh, he a wild one. Jamon, he's straight what, from Alabama, straight from St. Louis, actually. What was what was what was in your mind when when you heard, heard it said it? I ain't never asked him about it. <laughs> <laughs> I just left it like that. I never said, but I, I mean, every time I hear the song, I'm like, damn, that shit just stand out every damn time. Oh, but uh, yeah, so. Uh, I mean, if you had some pussy that tastes like chicken creole, would you be concerned? <laughs> <laughs> a little concerned, but hey. Uh, Rap so, beef. Uh, I feel like it's just as much a part as, of hip hop as, as the music is. Right. Uh, part of. Um, but I feel like now it's like on a different level. Um, as an artist, as a rap artist, how do you avoid those type of situations? Mind your damn business. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Focus on you. Because a lot of times there's people being in other folks' business are you mad at somebody else because they, you know, 
they coming up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Or you just want that that fame that that person got. I mean, chase that shit somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? Because it's it's not it's not really important. You can do the same thing that man did. We all got the same 24. So if I make it before you do, and you just start hating on me, or shooting shots at me, that's you. Yeah. How important do you think Atlanta is? Uh, because in most people's opinion, it's like the the mecca right. of black culture. Right. Um, how important do you think it is to the black community? It's very important. Like this? Very important. Because um, I mean, as you can tell from just like the voting and everything else, not even just with music, like. Atlanta just be the the, the go to place. It's like everybody started looking at Atlanta for everything. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, if if this don't happen in Atlanta, it ain't gonna happen at all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You have a new project in the works, right? Yes, I do. I got a, actually I got two new projects in the works. Okay. Uh, what can we expect from it? Um, you're gonna get Atlanta nights too. We're gonna continue on from one. You know, add some more flavor, give y'all a little bit more of what's going on in the city. And then I'm doing They Love Science, which is a project, you know what I'm saying, for the women. Because that's who buy music. <laughs> <laughs> Niggas don't buy music. <laughs> uh, shit. So what can we expect from you as a person going forward in your career? Um, more music. Um, definitely plan on getting with some artists trying to, you know, write. Um, getting back in production, stuff like that. Okay. All right, man. Thank you for sitting down with us. Appreciate it, bro.